chapter 25. I can't eat anymore, Tappy choked out. We had been stuffing ourselves with candy for several minutes. Tabby had chocolate running down her chin, and I saw the chocolate stuck in tangles of her blonde hair. Lee was bent over on the grass. He held his stomach and groaned. I don't feel so hot, he murmured. He let out a long, loud burp and groaned again. I never want to see another candy bar in my life, Walter whispered to me. I tried to reply, but my mouth was full. More houses, one of the pumpkin heads ordered. More houses, more trick-or-treating. No, please, Tabby begged. Bent over on the grass, Lee let out another long burp. It's almost midnight, Tabby protested. We have to go home. There are many houses to go, a pumpkin head told her, narrowing his fiery eyes. Houses forever, trick-or-treat forever. But we feel sick. Lee moaned, holding his stomach. We can't do any more houses tonight. Everyone has gone to sleep, Walker told the pumpkin heads. No one will answer the door this late. They will in this neighborhood, the pumpkin head replied. No problem in this neighborhood, the other creature agreed. In this neighborhood, you can trick or treat forever. But, 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 I sputtered. I knew it was no use. Fiery creatures were going to force us to keep going. They weren't going to listen to our complaints, and they weren't going to let us go home. More houses, more trick or treat forever. Tabby helped lead to his feet. She picked up his trick or treat bag and placed it in his hand. Then she brushed her hair out of her face and picked up her own bag. The four of us trooped across the street, dragging the bags beside us. The night air had grown cold and heavy. Strong breeze rattled the trees and sent brown leaves scuttling past our feet. Our parents must be so worried, Lee murmured. It's really late. They should be worried, Tabby declared in a trembling voice. We may never see them again. The porch light at the first house was still on. The pumpkin heads forced us onto the porch. It's too late to trick or treat, Lee protested. But we had no choice. I rang the bell. We waited, shivering, feeling heavy and sick from all the candy we had forced down. Slowly, the front door opened, and we all gasped in shock.